Alright people, welcome back to Summoner. Let's head over to Linnell, which is just right over here. Enter Linnell Outskirts. Welcome to our first major city. There's a lot to do here. And a lot to see and a lot of treasure to find. Oh, don't you look interesting. Hello, Durgan. What am I going to do? The captain says we must leave Lanel, but I will not get on a boat without my lucky charm. An earring given to me by a spirit on the Sea of Kadim. I lost it in a game of chance with a gambler named Ivis. If you get it back for me, I'll reward you. Just got a nice little quest there. One of many. <laughs> Speak of the devil, here's another one. Oh, there is another two. Do I? There we go. Welcome to the Nell, traveller. Have you come to trade? Oh, you're just a shop. He didn't mean to back out of that. Just the triangle backs out of it. Oop. Get that. I can sell that. Yeah. Yeah, let's do. And buy a little buckler. I don't think there's ever a reason to buy these. these. Like these are more like what you sell to them to get money. Oh, you can't equip it yet. Yeah. We will be able to soon, I believe. Oh, oh now we have to go around. Greetings, adventurer. I have a task for a brave warrior such as yourself. What is it? I've been in trouble with a band of robbers in the grasslands near Lanel. Evil doers who will lay my caravans, leeching off my profits. They're a skirt on all law-abiding folk. Mine are the richest in all Lanel, laden with exotic spices from the Galadians. These thefts must end. Oh, what do you want me to do about it? Find and vanquish these villains. Bring me the bow of Zane, the leader. And I will reward you richly. It's a weapon of no particular value, except as proof that you have defeated the robbers. Uh, we will not be doing that right away, because, uh, yeah, we are still alone right now. We have no party members. Which means taking on a band of robbers by ourselves is probably going to be a little bit challenging. We'll be getting our second party member shortly, so we'll worry about it then. I like this little, uh, I like this little ambient dialogue around. Just the characters talking to each other. It's a nice touch. Hello, you two shady individuals. Uh, smugglers. There's no worry about them just yet. Arms merchants. Ooh, falchion. Tell me about this falchion. Uh, 32 and speed 105. 35. So mine's still there. 
better. Yeah, that's right. Forty-five. Now that is stronger. Hmm. Let's just look. I got first. Draco has a clever plan. It's a secret. I promised I wouldn't tell. You just told me there is a plan. Terrible at keeping secrets. Yeah, well, let's get that. Let's get that big sword. Yeah, the bastard sword. It is stronger, so you know. Ooh, actually, actually, actually. If I remember right. Go up here and examine the fish. Should. Hmm. I forget what the trick is with us, but you're supposed to be able to get something from us. Missing a sequence trigger. First, you need to talk to Crazy Ivan. Og Brifflederpool, there's Stadim Rabbit Og Rabbit You what, mate? Is it in Burbert Jokt? Riviam Oxcart? Lolo and Rema Treasure, Lotal Hinwe, Fordy Drinkable. Awkward egg. The Havoy, a chew to do. <laughs> Big delicious. Bird, bird, bird. Inu lutu. Mishkish kivi, mishkish fish. I mean, that made perfect sense to me, honestly. Party acquires the fiery falchion. There we go. Which is a slightly weaker, slightly slower, slower sword, but with the effect of fireball. Which is very nice. It basically casts the fireball spell, or has a chance to cast the fireball spell whenever it hits an enemy. We don't have access to the fireball spell right now. So, this is our way of casting that spell. And also at the bottom there, it can be used as a dagger. That will be useful uh, with our next pie member, actually. So, we'll keep that for that. Right. Moving on from Big Delicious. Uh, just in a task which will be well rewarded. Of course I am. Bag of magical seeds that need to be delivered to the stronghold of the Kusani. The seeds of Ahur. They'll sprout anywhere, even on solid rock. How useful. Take us back to the one they call Ilar. We find him in the stronghold of the Sanavar. 2,000 gold. Sure. It's an easy quest, but we can't do it right now. This will be in our quest journal for quite a while. Alright, I think that's everything taken care of. In the outskirts region, anyway. Yeah, we're not even into the main city yet. Let's head into the marketplace. 
And I'm all out of money. How delightful. Alrighty. Head off. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the city of Linnell is quite large. There's a lot, lot of different districts, and each district is in itself quite large. How do I zoom the camera out? Can I not hear it? Okay. Jamadi Trader. Oh, that's nice. This basically gives a plus one skill point to our sword weapons for free. As long as the ring is equipped anyway. Which is quite handy. But there's no way we can afford that right now, so... Remember that for later. That baby. <laughs> oh dear. Hello, shady trader. What do you got for me? Nothing. The dagger would be useful, but. Quippable by fleece. Bit of a spoiler there. <clears throat> but, uh, don't worry about that. I want to first head over this way, over this bridge. Oh, camera, chill out. We want to talk to Eris. Oh, <laughs> that's how you zoom out the camera. <laughs> okay. If you remember, we picked up the sword from the dying guy in the village, and this is who we give it to. I grow powerful. He grows powerful. Take my weapon, Joseph. Oh. <laughs> you get a spare bastard sword right here. Okay, well. And <laughs> now we have two. Uh, oh well. No, it's not a big deal. No, don't discard it. Yeah. Yeah, it's not a big it's not a big deal. We'll have plenty of money. Uh, um <laughs> Okay. <laughs> this game does have quite a lot of glitches. It is definitely glitchy in places. Uh this is a new one. <laughs> I've never seen this one before. Uh, you guys are right up there. Do you need a? Do you need a hand? Me, finally just floating. Yeah, all right. Uh, let's, uh, let's not worry about that. <clears throat> anyway, uh, let's diversify a little bit. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Right. Do we have any other quests to worry about right now? I have a... Mm, not urgent. 
think there's still a couple more quests to pick up here. Speaking of, y'all. What is it? If you wish a sword or armor made, I must insist payment in advance. My last customer, a nobleman, took a sword he commissioned but refused to pay for it. A servant came to take the sword, saying that my fee would be paid when his master accepted it. Three weeks have passed, and still no fee. I have become desperate. I've got to pay the money lender unless I collect that fee. The vultures will haul me off to the keep. <clears throat> he ignores me, but if a bold adventurer like you confronted him, he would surely pay the fee. All right, muscle up the guy. I could do that. <laughs> I'm sure of it. I will reward you richly, if you can collect my fee. Do we have a deal? Yeah, all right then. Nobleman name, nobleman's name is Lord Coral. He often hunts in the grasslands near an L. Another random encounter. <clears throat> Quests like that where they say they, they're in the grasslands or in the area around a city. It's usually just, it means it's in a random encounter, so just wander around that area until you find it on the world map. Basically. There's another one down here. Smithy. Okay. A lot of the same stuff. Yeah, we can sell. I'll keep the short sword for now. Just because it's a one-handed sword and you never know. Get rid of the katanas, get rid of our spare bastard sword, because I'm not going to need that. Also, you notice we can't sell some weapons. The fiery falchion can't sell. I guess it's too magical for him. Chris the Lantern Maker. Lantern made by Chris. Master of the fraternity of lantern makers. Oh, you're just. You, you, don't, you don't have anything for me. Hmm. Okay. I think that means he's going to be relevant to a quest that we've got or we can get right now. But he's just not relevant right now. Mercer. Alas, good sir, I cannot serve you today. I have just been robbed and my shop is closed. Yes, a customer bought fine silk garments and paid for them in what seemed to be good gold coins. The coins were base lead with a thin coating of coal gold. The cursed thief. I am ruined. With my best clothing stock gone and no gold to buy more, I cannot stay in business. She goes by the name of Serval. If you'd find him and return what he stole, I would reward you well. I think most of the quests we're picking up now, uh, don't worry about it just yet. Some of them we just can't do yet, and some of them it would be best to wait a little bit. Okay, you're also not relevant yet. Alright, I think that's the marketplace done. <clears throat> oh, no, 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 no. I think there's someone out in the middle here. Maybe not yet. Yeah, not yet. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> Let's head out this way. Onto the Noble District? Crown District. Same thing. Alrighty. Oop. 
gold. <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna try and be thorough and find everything, but this game's complex. There's a lot. There's, there's a lot to it. There's a lot of places. I don't know if I'm gonna remember everything, but I'll try my best. Okay, so we have gloves and we have boots. We don't have pants. I am not skilled enough for these pants, apparently. <laughs> Equipable by Jakar. <clears throat> Don't worry about that for a while. <laughs> it's a weird thing with old games that used to do stuff like this, where they had requirements that equipment could be equipped by certain characters, but they'll tell you that even when you don't have the character. <laughs> so it kind of spoils what the name of the next pie members, but... Uh, it's, it's fine. It's fine. Whoever this Jakar is, he's got good taste in armor. <laughs> and Rosalind. <laughs> uh. okay, we've got silk silk gloves, I believe. We could upgrade to the leather gloves, but eh. Eh. It's fine. The well is full of cool, clear water. Delightful. Mm -hmm. Another shop here. What have you got for me, good man? More armor, okay. High loads. Section five, what have I got at the moment? Section three, yeah, I think we're good. I don't think we need to worry about that. The gauntlets would be nice, but uh, can't afford that just yet. And still no pants. <laughs> uh, protection 15. That's my current armor. Protection 7. That's not bad, actually. It's only 100. Yeah. Yeah. So have a new look. Doesn't look as good as the tunic, in my opinion. I kind of like the style of that better. But somehow this gives more defense. <laughs> so we'll, we'll get some proper armor for him eventually. <laughs> yeah, that's this side done, I think. Check the crates. Ooh. ooh, 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 Amethyst, hang on a second. Keep it open. Oh, will and regenerate. That's a very nice spell. Uh, oh, I can't sell it here. Well, remember that, we've got an Amethyst to sell. And, uh info worth 1,500 I don't think we'll get exactly that much but we'll get quite a bit for it so okay I'm gonna check out this side and then I'm actually gonna go back to another district we haven't been to yet I think there's a couple more quests we can pick up that might be uh, useful. Okay, another quest character. Potential quest character. Something tells me we're going to have to talk to all of these people at some point. Probably to track down this uh, keepsake that we, that guy lost. From what I remember, that's one of those quests where it's like, Oh, I had it! 
And then I gave it to someone else. I had it. But then I lost it. I had it. But then I sold it. Until we eventually find it. <clears throat> yeah. Pomporo. Greetings, bold warrior. You have come at an opportune time. I am beside myself with worry. Something precious has been stolen from me. My family heirloom pilfered from my chambers. It's a signet ring once owned by my ancestor, the Lord of Duramil. Our family lost our lands and titles in the Civil War of 217. I will offer you a substantial monetary reward for the return of my ring. All right, where you go for me? None whatsoever. <laughs> Great, useful, thanks, perfect. <clears throat> I suggest you start by speaking to my wife and the chambermaid. Perhaps you will see what we have missed. Okay. So those two around here were actually for that quest. Understood. What have you got for me? I have an idea about thefts, but no one listens to me. I think it's sewer rats that do the stealing. I hear them in the walls, scurrying and squeaking. The city is rotten with them, even the fine houses in the Crown District. How would I know? Maybe they like shiny things. Is that a thing? I think it, no, I think it's crows that like shiny things, isn't it? <laughs> Where can I find the sewer rats? I'll give you three guesses, you daft pid. <laughs> you, you know what? Fair answer. <laughs> I'm guessing they're in the sewers. Or maybe they're down at the pub. I don't know. Tell me about the thefts. So my husband hired you to solve his little mystery. Fool. I told him to speak to the guards. She doesn't listen. As for the thief, I can tell you who she is. You're going to blow the chambermaid, aren't you? Call on it. The chambermaid, of course. <laughs> of course. She cleans the chambers, doesn't she? She's the only one who goes in there besides my husband and me. I believe that's what they call circumstantial evidence. Do you have any proof? Not yet. But I'll catch the girl before too long. She'll be cleaning the privy and the keep when we're done with her. Honestly, I believe the story about the rats more than this one. <clears throat> Alright, well, that's another quest that's... Don't worry about it for right now. Can't get to the sewers just yet. But of course, this is an RPG, so we will be in the sewers before too long. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> Ooh, you are what I'm looking for. Mm. Speed plus one. Oh, if I could get the swordsman ring, that'd be quite nice. And I think I can. Should I though? Should I? Ah, this swords plus one, that's pretty good. Screw it, let's do it. Again, I'm not doing this like the most optimal. I'm just having a good time. <laughs> uh. oh, 20 gold. We're rich again. Oh, this guy. <sighs> sorry, to, sorry, too worked up to chat. I'm almost there. Almost where? I just found volume 83 of the Greek Encyclopedia of Heresies, Heterodoxies, and Apostasies. Sounds thrilling. It's, it's the next Fifty Shades of Grey, calling it. Oh yes. All I need now are volumes 28 and 67, and I'll have the entire set. All these last two volumes will be hard to get. 
I could use some help. Volume 28 is in the possession of a certain book dealer, but he will not sell it to me. He seems to blame me for the disappearance of his volume 17 a few weeks ago. Of course not. I uh, acquired it from another source later that same day. Mm-hmm. Sure. Alright, so he gives us some money. In the marketplace will find a man named Bibris. Okay. So we've got a lead on one of the two books, which is better than nothing, I suppose. So also another reason to go back to the marketplace. Yeah, what else have we got around here? Oh, brother, this place is huge. Oh, a nice little park. How delightful. Got a little stage here. To die, I lack and dare to have loved. A uh, line. What's my line, please? Uh. Mm, no quests here? No? Okie dokie. Oh. You have something for me. Taras the jeweler. No, nope, never mind. He will be important, just not right now. <laughs> yeah, I feel like today's episode is just going to be exploring Linnell. <laughs> There's a lot more to it than I remember. something in here maybe or not maybe later Humbus the rat catcher hey do you know anything about sewer rats apparently not <laughs> Okay, I believe, yeah, maybe not. <laughs> I was gonna say, I think that's everything. Um, it might not be. <clears throat> Again, this place is quite large. Mm, no, I think we're circled around now. All right. So now let's go back to the marketplace. Apparently, deal with a book dealer. Alrighty. Uh, did we find the book dealer? First time, I don't remember. We talked to a lot of people. <clears throat> Are you guys still floating? Yep. Cool. That's the, that is one of the fun things about this game. You'll always discover something new. <laughs> uh, this, this is one of those games where it's like, it's glitchy and buggy in a lot of places, but that's what makes it charming. I love this era of... Uh, like 2000 jank. It's delightful. Well, I don't think we talked to you, did we? Study steel heel boots for fleece. 
Now those are some pants. <clears throat> Sadly, uh, not for Joseph. No. One of these days, we will find some pants. Paper's a bookseller, there we go. And volume 28 of the Encyclopedia of Heresies. Hmm, <clears throat> why certain? Wait, you're not buying it for Zephnat, are you? Hmm. Let's see what he says if we're just honest. Ah! <laughs> Now let's say no. How much is the book? Two hundred. Yep, yep. I grow yep. powerful. Three hundred experience. All right. Let's do our skills. Okay. So we put some into staffs now. I don't know if I want to. I don't think I ever use staffs with Joseph. Can I keep them on the uh? Sword and magic, and when we get when we get to it, summoning. Uh, keep him to heal. The blue mark on the sword means it's enhanced by the ring, which is nice. Uh, let's. It's weird that we can upgrade push, but not any of the, any of the other chain attacks. Yeah. <laughs> nah, let's get dodge. Dodge is pretty useful. Alright, so. Uh, quest journal. So, most of these quests we cannot do right now, or I want to wait until later. <clears throat> uh, but the one I think we can make progress in now is. Uh, where is it? Not that one. Dogan look at John. Right, we need to find Ivas. I think I know where he is. It's in the region of the city we haven't been to yet. Uh, we've got no more direction on the Encyclopedia of Heresies, so I just I just think we don't worry about that for right now. The siege we can't do for a while. That we need to get into the sewers, which we can't do yet. Uh, that is also in the sewers, which you can't get to yet. The ones in the grasslands, which is these two, I'll worry about that when they've got uh, an extra person to fight with. <laughs> we're a little bit squishy on our own right now. And of course our main quest is find Iago. Okay. So, uh, where are we? Okay, here we go. And this goes into the old city. Alrighty. <laughs> Time to explore another huge area. Mm -hmm. Ah, these are nice. So, in this game, we got runes, you got scrolls and tracts and books. And they basically are consumable items that let you cast the specific spell. So this gives us five charges of icicles. So when we use this in battle, we can cast icicle five times before it dissolves, I guess. These are, yeah, they can be useful. <laughs> this one is very nice. Yeah, I, I won't. I won't be picking any of them up because you'll get plenty of them later. But yeah, a free, a free meteor storm is very nice. Mm. Curse, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. The lightning ones are cool as well. Nah, uh, won't sell anything yet.
What do we got around here? I believe Ivis is in this region. Uh, let's go over to the marketplace. Yep. It's all interconnected. It's almost like it's a real city. Go this way first. Hello, friend. Mm. Basically, the same things I've seen in other shops. Oh, the quest for pants continues. Also to the marketplace, yep. We've got three different exits to the marketplace now. Ooh, what happened here? Aravind. Lenilla is becoming too dangerous for the Iranians. Many have gone into hiding or left the city. Only a handful remain, and at their peril. This house belonged to an Iranian merchant. Ah, I see. People are kind of mad that it's the Iranians that are currently raiding this, the uh, area and taking it out on the people in the city. Yeah, it was warfare. Never a pretty time. Hear anything? Well, let us know. Our friend's name is Jinyan. But please be discreet. Discreet is my middle name. Joseph Discreet of Siran, I think. <laughs> now. <clears throat> That quest, I actually don't remember where it is. Oh, hello. A beggar with no eyes. I wonder what his deal is. <clears throat> Village boy. Yep, yep, yep. Farmer of Witchlands. My name matters not. Lost your eyes. Apothecary and made off with them. Oh, I remember this quest. Crafting an elixir with someone's eyes. Go ask the apothecary. I'm not sure getting his eyes back will be too beneficial for him at this point. I don't think medieval medicine can reattach eyeballs yet. This one's another quest, I remember this one as well. Get the doll, yep. Creepy doll. That is also in the sewers. One in, there's another quest in particular that I'm looking for. Gibbon the Pawnbroker. Not drilling yet. You, yes. I remember you, alright. Forgot. I've never forgotten the cities of glass. The Winged Sudani. Go to the temple and ask the priests. <laughs> Where have we heard the Jamari before? This this game does throw a lot of uh, t very unique terms at you. Pretty early on. 
It can get hard to follow on can get hard to follow like which is which and what's what. <clears throat> we've got Sudani, we've got the Gimari, we've got Urath and Ooh, there's a lot. Shards of the Cities of Glass. A long jagged piece of glass. Deep emerald green. Offered up. How much? Uh, three shards of glass, red, green, and blue. And if you bring all three, we'll give you some. Spare. And the reward for this quest is actually quite nice. But uh, that's another long term quest. You're the pawn broker, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot. <clears throat> You're not peddle your vegetable. I don't have any vegetables. They call it East Keep. First Kings and Medivh lived. And now it's the Royal Prison. All the undesirables. Madmen, outlaws, vagabonds, traitors, and even a few Iranians. And people who don't like tea. <laughs> You have a prison named Chi. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, he's a runny. Okay. Letter from the Royal Justice Justicia. And then there's a foot inside the palace. Okay. So we need to get inside the palace for that. Which is our objective. Long term, anyway. Uh, you are believe the apothecary. Hey, you got a guy's eyes. Americans. Will you just give me the eyes? <clears throat> and hell's west of Linnell is a rare and elusive fire Salamanca. Start a Salamanca and bring me its. Hung. Yep, another hunt in the grasslands. So basically, once I've got the second party member, I'll just wander around the grasslands for a while. And uh, hopefully encounter all the things I'm looking for. <laughs> another one. Ivers, there you are. Now you're going to tell me you don't have the lucky charm anymore. <clears throat> it sold it to Gibb and the pawnbroker. Luckily, we get 100 EXP each time, so. so. Yeah, that's just a quest line of each character had it, and then gave it to someone else, and we'll just keep following that for a while. <clears throat> Bassites. Cleaner of sewers. Ooh, what a delightful job. Kill the Bassites. Fight a Bassite, feed a Bassite. Proverb goes. What? What? <laughs> Fifty gold per bassite. Let's take that. Down. And uh, yeah, this is the way into the sewers, but obviously we can't go in there yet. Whilst we're down there, we'll find bassites. Pedrog Tangrud Okay. I don't know if I remember Ugh. don't know if I remember that one.
Oh, wait, no, no. Yeah, I remember. I remember. <laughs> I believe that is also in the sewers. Running in shopkeeper. Yeah, same stuff I had before. Yeah, there's a lot of shops that sell the same stuff for some reason. I guess just so you can diversify which shop you want to go to. Maybe this time I'll shop in the old city. Right, let's find the pawnbroker. <sighs> let's follow this chain. Uh, right here, right here, yes. He was walking this route, and I believe that's him. Nope. There you are. Uh, did I miss the gamble? I saw you. Powerful. End of the level up. Yep, sold it already. I grow the merchant in the market. Uh, of course he did. Yeah, let's do our skills again. We unlocked parry now. Sure. And put one to sword this time. Okay. Now into the market district to find Ag it Aguilau. Alright. So we're looking for. Aguilo the merchant in the Avram. I hope this is the Avram market. It is, it is the marketplace. What is it with everyone floating today? Genuinely, I've never seen that glitch before. Oh! Wasn't planning to see you here. Nine years ago, I swore on my brother's grave that if I ever crossed your path, Again, I would kill you, Joseph of Saran. Well, here's Jakar, I suppose. My name is Jakar. Do you remember me now? Apparently, yes. To think I once called you friend. Have you forgotten what happened at Siran? I tried to save the village with my giant demon. You destroyed it. You killed everyone. You burned our cottages to the ground. It was the demon. You used your ring and summoned the demon, the ring that Yago gave you. You couldn't control your power. And so our people died. I threw the ring down a well. You should have thrown yourself in after it. Dude, rude. Why are you here? Have you come to destroy Lanel? I'm looking for Yago. That old spider. I've seen him. Cut him in half. But now I'm, I'm now a soldier in the king's army. If he ever falls from royal favour, my axe will be waiting. But where is he? They call him your Lord Yago. He's a counsellor of the Prince Sonahan. Now he lives in the royal palace. So this guy just gave us our kind of main objective, which is get into the royal palace. How did he become a prin princess counselor? I'm guessing because he's got magic. <laughs> God. Peasant. Serf. Vill villain. Ploughboy. Farmer. Pick a name that pleases you if you don't like Cotter. I swear at least two of those words are just made up. <laughs> will have vengeance. Oh, you seem like a... You seem like a delightful person. Anyway. Agro. Who did you give it to? Um, Mistress Darba. Birkins Island in the Artisan's Quarter. I believe that's the Crown District, so... <sighs> Back over there. <coughs> Okay, I haven't found the objective yet, but I have fixed the um, 
<laughs> floating NPC problems. Turns out it's a problem with the emulator. And if you have a problem, what you need to do is go into settings here. Uh, go over to... Uh, it's PCSX2 on Steam Deck. I don't know if it's different on different platforms, but... Go to advanced, turn the advanced uh, on, and then uh, find clamping mode for emulation, uh, emotion engine. Turn that to full. And uh, v v VU uh, zero clamping. Also turn that to extra plus preserve sign. And I needed to because there were certain NPCs like this one where they were floating and I couldn't talk to them. <laughs> and I believe the quest giver that I'm looking for is one of them. Uh, she, just, she just isn't here right now. So it's a little bit of a game breaking bug if you don't know how to fix it. But uh, yeah. I'll be back when I found her. There she is. I had to uh, enter and uh, leave and re-enter the area. Because I think she just despawned at some point because of the glitch. Because I saw some uh, NPCs just walk into a wall and disappear. So, uh... <clears throat> yeah, it's a little bit buggy. <laughs> this time I can't blame the game. Specifically though, it seems like it's an emulator thing, but... We got there eventually. Good wife, Dan. What have you got for us? Taras the Jeweler in the Crown District. Okay, off to. Yeah, yeah, yep, yeah. This, this is uh, this is that quest. <laughs> Every RPG needs one of these quests at least. Taras the Jeweler, give me the damn ring. Earring, whatever. <laughs> and I've made it. Trump up by a horse, okay. Yeah, right. Did she have an earring? I grow powerful. <laughs> On the bright side, we're getting a lot of level ups for this. Alright, catch her. Okay, I know where he is. <sighs> Ratcatcher, please, I'm begging you. <laughs> He's halfway to a run here by now. In a run here. So I think we can't do the rest of this quest until later either. Okay. Okay, so. Ooh! First off, we've got three skill points now, and also we've unlocked. Holy. Uh, I'm. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, these are pretty nice. Because now we've got Bless and Protect. Uh, bless is single targeting and protect is for the party, which is going to be very useful later on. Uh, so, yeah. Listen, we can't do the rest of that quest until much later. Alright. Yeah, just double checked. Yeah, we can't do that for right now. <laughs> but that's where I'm going to leave it for today. And next time we actually head into the uh, Temple Plaza. And see if we can't break into the castle. Maybe. Until then.